Hello listeners, Pastor Sunday Joseph Adenuga of Success Dimension Church in Badon, Nigeria, with you again to present to you uh, this topic, Open Doors. The Lord came to me in the wake of the year 2010 and told me that the anchor for our church for the year 2010 shall be this, that is found in the book of Revelation chapter 3 verse 8 that reads I know thy works behold I have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it behold I have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it that is a promise of God for you and I in this year 2010 not only the year 2010 but as long as you live god spoke to me seriously he said i should hold on to this word i should believe this word i should speak this word i should encourage my people to believe this word and that is why i am making it as a presentation in this video to let you know that god has set before you an open door and no man can shut it. But there is a caution. Even though no man can shut it, there is a power that can shut it. That power is not the devil. That power is not your enemy. That power is not even God. That power is you. You are the only one that can close the door that God has opened for you. This year, God has opened the door of blessing, the door of progress, the door of healing, and that door is open for you. But you can shut it by not being careful. I'm going to tell you in this presentation very quickly seven things that can shut the open doors that God has set before you. Number one, disobedience to the word of god can shut this good door that god has set before you in the year 2010 if you are disobedient to any of the law of god any of the word of god then you run you run the risk of shutting the good door of blessing which the almighty god has opened for you the story of queen vashti when Queen Vashti was called by the king, Ahasuerus, the king wanted to be proud of the queen and sent to call the queen. But the queen, came, but the queen refused and disobeyed and refused to come at the king's command. What was the result? She shut the door of being the queen of Babylon, the greatest position for any woman on earth as at that time she lost that position because of nothing but disobedience the case also of there are so many cases in the bible but because of time short time i have in this presentation the second thing that can shut the door is if you don't know your god the bible says in the book of daniel chapter 11 verse 22 he said, He that doeth wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt with flatteries. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploit. If you know your God, you will do exploit. If you know your God, you will be strong. If you know your God, it shall be well with you. If you know your God, you shall make tremendous progress because when you know god god is knowledge because what you know is what you are if you know how to drive you'll be a driver when you know god you will behave like god you will become like god and overcome a winner because god is a winner so the more of god you know in the year 2010 the more of the open doors of god you enjoy the third thing you have to bear in mind 
is that you have to mind your language. What you say is what God will do for you. Look at Numbers chapter 11 verse, uh, chapter 14 verse 28. God says in that place, Whatever you say in my ears is what I will do for you. God will do what you say. So, if you want the door to be opened continually, use your mouth to open it. Allow the door to be opened by the things that you say. Your word is power. Your word contains power. This world is ruled by words. Rule your world by your word. Speak words of power, words of possibility, words of healing, words of prosperity, and these will happen to you. If you speak, speak words of sickness, disease, that is what will happen. If you speak words of poverty, that is what will happen. Whatever word you speak about your life and about yourself, is exactly what you will have in this year 2010. With that, I'm going to stop. These are the three things I can present now. In the next presentation, I'm going to make, mention the next four. Thank you and God bless you as you have listened. Once again, Sunday Joseph Adenuga is my name. God bless you. You can contact me through my email at sourcesdimensionchurch at gmail.com or you simply phone my number at this plus two three four. Five four zero four one four six two. Thank you, and God bless you. Amen.